Picking a Bone, Unraveling English Idioms. Hello and welcome, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to delve into a fascinating English phrase, pick a bone with. Often heard in conversations, this idiom might seem peculiar at first glance. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll not only understand its meaning but also how to use it in your daily conversations. The phrase, pick a bone with, is an idiom, which means its meaning isn't directly related to the individual words it contains. To, pick a bone with someone, doesn't involve any actual bones. Instead, it means you have a disagreement or issue that you want to discuss or argue about with another person. It's commonly used when you're somewhat upset or annoyed and want to confront someone about a specific problem. Understanding the origin of idioms can often help us remember and use them correctly. The phrase, pick a bone with, is believed to originate from the act of dogs picking bones clean of meat. Just as a dog meticulously chews on a bone, when you pick a bone with someone, you are thoroughly discussing an issue until it's completely addressed. Using, pick a bone with, correctly can help you sound more natural and fluent in English. Here's how you can use it. 1. Start a conversation. Use it to initiate a discussion about a disagreement. For example, Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? I have to pick a bone with you about the meeting yesterday. 2. Express discontent. When you're not happy about something and you want to express your dissatisfaction. For example, I need to pick a bone with you about how you've been using my car without asking. Remember, while it's a common idiom, it's best used in informal settings among friends or colleagues you're familiar with. While, pick a bone with, is widely understood, there are variations you might hear as well. Have a bone to pick with someone. This is another common way to express the same idea. For example, she has a bone to pick with you about yesterday's incident. Bone of contention. This phrase is slightly different and refers to the specific subject or issue that two or more people are arguing about. For example, the property line has been a bone of contention between the neighbors for years. Now you're ready to use, pick a bone with, like a native. Remember, idioms are a fun and engaging part of language learning and can really help you sound more fluent. I hope this video helps you feel more confident in your English speaking journey. Keep practicing. And don't hesitate to pick a bone with any doubts you may have. We're here to help. Happy learning!